What's up everyone? So today is episode three of my vlog. Last episode, we revisited the design of the Unicast blog. Um, so what we are gonna do today is convert it from a PSD uh, to the front end. I'm not 100% sure we'll get all the front end done, um, but we will at least get the main structure and stuff uh, knocked out. So let's uh, just jump in. All I have so far, uh, so I have the PSD open right here, and then uh, today we're gonna be working in a code pin. Uh, that way um, it's all browser-based and um, it makes it so I can share the code with you guys after I'm finished. So what I'm going to do is just start converting this um, into code. So all I've done so far is um, added the typekit font um, to the settings. Um, I grabbed the code, embed code from my typekit account and then added it here. Um, and then set the font family to the Proxima Nova Soft, which we are using in the um, design. So what I wanna do is, first off, let's uh, set some variables. So for the colors, let's grab each color I'm gonna use color snapper again. I'll say uh, red, whoops, and then put the hex code. Uh, let's do green color and do the hex, add that, do the purple. And by the way, this is SCSS, uh, so we can define variables and then use them in several different places uh, within our CSS and that makes it so if we ever say want to change the purple to a different shade of purple um, We can just change the hex value in the one place this variable and it will update in all the locations It's being used pretty amazing So I'll do the lime green Let's see let's do one for pink do another for orange, one for yellow, and let's do another one for blue. All right, and just because it kind of annoys me, I'm just going to space these out. Definitely not necessary, but makes it look a lot cleaner. All right, that looks good. So what I can do now is we can start um, laying out this design. So let's see, what's the best way to begin? <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, um, gonna create a div and I'm just gonna add some hard-coded style attributes in there. So what I'm gonna do is style um, width of 50% and let's do a height of uh, 400 pixels or something like that. And I will do background of, let's just grab this red color, this hex code. Save that and run it. All right, cool. So I think what I want to do is uh, obviously on the blog, we're gonna loop through each of these blog posts. So it's all gonna be a dynamic, but uh, for the static version, we're gonna have to um, obviously have some duplication in there. So what's the best way to do this? We need a title for each blog post. So. Let me just keep that right there. I'll do a div with the wrapper or the class of, um, I'll just say post. Then inside of here, let's add a title. I'm just gonna copy this. And I'll do um, h2 with the class of title. All right, then let's grab the date. And I'm gonna say, uh, wrap this in a 
class of uh, let's see post info and then inside of here let's do p dot date and let's do uh, p dot um, read underscore length save that and run it cool so what we can do here um, let's start defining what that post is so the post class we're gonna do width of 50% we're gonna float it to the left um, that way it stacks up uh, next to each other let's also do a height of mm, do min height of let's say 400 pixels see how that looks run that all right and for now let's do background of that red variable and color let's do um, I want to add one more variable let's do white and let's do FFF FFF save that we'll do a color of white run that all right that is looking good so far uh, so we got the title this stuff beautiful let's try adding a second one save that and run it perfect um, so when we get into the code um, this is going to be hmm what's the best way to do this I just realized you guys may not be able to see that too well let me bump up the size all right so what I'm thinking is for each post we're gonna have another class so I'm going to say uh, make a class for each of these variables with the background color set to that variable for example if I have post and a red class uh, let's remove this and let's make another class of dot let's see what was this dot green uh, do a background of that green color and I will add this green here save and run um, that did not work maybe it's because it shouldn't be within the post variable there we go okay so it should be outside of the post class not nested underneath it okay so this is a good start um, and I'm just going to real quick make a class for each one of these variables so let me save that and run it uh, obviously does nothing so let me add a few more of these and I'll change this one to let's do purple and the other one uh, let's do the lime green save and run beautiful all right so as we scale uh, that's going to scale with it um, we need to add some breakpoints for example once we get to um, probably about like a thousand pixels ish uh, we'll probably want to break it to a single column um, yeah uh, we'll probably do that in the next video though so let's keep going so what I want to do is um, we go back to this let's look at it so everything is centered horizontally so for that what I'm thinking is 
we're gonna make the post a uh, display of table and then let's add a div inside the post and call this inner and this is going to be display table dash cell and we're going to do vertical align middle so I believe I can save that let me go add a div of inner in here tab this stuff over and let's run that and see if it works hmm um oh you know what I think the post has to have a a min height hmm so it does have min height let me see what I'm doing wrong hmm so this has oh here we go um this was display instead of display I bet that was the issue Aha, okay, there we go, cool. So, um, if I go ahead and add that inner class to each of these other ones, um, tab it over, close the div. And do the last one. and run that beautiful okay so let's go back and look we have a bit of padding on each side of each post so let's take care of that um inside the inner let's do a padding it's already centered vertically so let's do padding on the left and the right um, let's do padding of zero and let's try five percent see how that looks All right, that's a start, but let's maybe try 15%. Much better. Uh, we might change that when we bump up the font size, but this is looking pretty good. Cool. So, <laughs> oh, one thing to know on this, I am really just gonna be focusing on the center part. Uh, because this is already coded so once we actually get onto the platform I can just import the header and import the footer uh, partials and I won't need to do anything else so uh, we're just gonna focus on this middle part all right so let's see this is looking good next let's take care of um, the date how about that so uh, each inside the post each one has a title uh, class of post info dot post info and let's do target the date inside of that and what we're gonna do is hmm, what's the best way to do this let me try just to do color and let's do darken um, the white variable uh, 25%. Let's see what that does. Mm -hmm. You know what we may need to do is let me copy this date or this post info block. We may need to do this darken each individual variable based on the background color let me run that and see how it looks yes um, you know I'm gonna set I'm just gonna grab each one of these colors because the darken thing uh, sometimes works uh, sometimes doesn't so let me do that for the green let's grab this color
this um, kind of feels icky just because it's uh, a lot of duplication. So we may revisit this uh, later on and um, refactor it a bit. But for now, this will work. All right, let me save that and run it and let's take a look. Um, so it's showing I have an error. Oh, whoops, just forgot the ending colon on that, or semicolon. There we go. Um, this I feel like should be slightly darker, this one. Let me maybe not that dark. That looks better. So what I'll do is grab this color and go to the green and just update that. That looks good. Cool. Guys, this is looking pretty dope. All right, so the next thing, um, I believe we need to do display inline on inline block. I always get these mixed up. And then do the date of display inline. Yes. Um, do I need inline block on this? I don't think so. Okay, so for this, let's um, go under the SCSS and close out of that. The post, post info class uh, under here, we're going to target the uh, dot date and the dot read underscore length, and we'll do display inline run. All right, then the date, let's. Um, Hmm. So it's only happening on this one, which is strange. Did I misspell something? Let me just refresh. That is super weird. Let me view the source. Interesting. So it's not applying. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. So what I did was I put this under the green variable, which uh, should not be there, obviously. So let's go under the actual post. Let's do dot post underscore info. And under there, we'll do it. Okay, so now let's go below that, do the date, let's do a margin <clears throat> right of, say, 1M. Beautiful. All right, so uh, this is looking pretty good. The font sizes are off, so let's target those. So under, above post info, I'm gonna do dot title. Uh, let's try a font size of uh, 2M. See how that looks. That looks good. And maybe the read length and the date should have a font size of 1.5. That might be too big. Let's see. Yeah, it's way too big. 1.25. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, cool. So the date's good. You know, we need to do the same thing for the read time, actually. Um, so for each variable, let's do read length. Let's do color. Um, let me grab this. 
save and run and see how that looks. That looks good. All right, I'm just going to copy this and paste it in for each one. Oops. All right, so get that going. It's going to look weird on these ones. Which it very much does. So I'm just going to figure out the colors in Photoshop. So the green color, uh, I can just paste that in. Um, but for these, let me copy this. I'm going to highlight it, pick the purple color, and make it slightly lighter. That looks good. Let's do the same for the other ones. Uh, make sure it's actually above that layer in the layers panel. There we go. Um, let me tweak that a bit more again. Beautiful. I right, the pink. Save that and refresh. Perfect. All right, so I want to um, extend this. What if I have a longer one? longer title. Um, let's not make it exactly the same. All right, uh, so the line height on that actually looks pretty good. So you can see there's something wrong with this. Um, when you break it down, um, why exactly is that happening? It must be because the height of this one is higher than the other one, so it's breaking. Interesting. Okay, so when we get into the responsive stuff, we can make sure, actually when we get into Rails, we can make sure that this is a fixed character length, um, and we can make sure all the breakpoints happen um, precisely as they need to be um, to make sure that it doesn't break the layout at any point as you scale it down. But this is cool. It, it looks good all the way up here, and it, um, it will look good scaled down. So last thing I want to do is search for uh, let's do font awesome CDN. So I'm going to copy the font awesome CDN and then go back and import it in the um, in the head of the uh, code pin. So let's uh, paste that in there. And if we go back here, let's go to the icons and find one for maybe, I think it's clock time. Hmm. Let me just look for it. I know they have one. Where on earth is that clock? Clock. Oh, okay. Well, that's annoying. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. Let's go back to the pin. And right before the read length, we're going to paste that in and add a space. Save that and run it again. 
beautiful. I wonder if we should find one for the date as well. Maybe the calendar one? That one's way too crazy. Um, this one's not as bad. Let me try this one. Kind of like that. I kind of don't. I'm not sure. I'll just leave it in for now. And we can always take it out if uh, I decide we don't like it. But I'm thinking this is good uh, for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we'll probably do this page or maybe make this page responsive. I am not quite sure just yet. I'll figure that out. But if you want to check out the code, I'll link to it in the description below. All right. I will see you guys next time.